Sunday ain't working. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, Mayor Dent finally, a friendly face. Orders, he's still being held for observation. Meanwhile, it's good to see you. Oh, congratulations, Mayor Dent. How does it feel? Oh, it'd feel better if I were out of here. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. Ugh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. You'll hear from her. <laughs> Easy for you to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. I mean, he's the reason I'm sitting here. Hey, thanks. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. 
They're trying to cause discord. That stun at the debate was just the first step. They're after me. They're not gonna rest until all the names are crossed off their list. I can't just stand aside and let that happen. The tonight speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy. To go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? Do what you think is best, Harvey. You know what you need better than anybody. Exactly. Resting and doing nothing is just going to drive me up the wall. I need to get back to work. To try and be effective. Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot. Hill admitting to having both of them killed. It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. Oswald and I were best friends when we were kids. I knew his mother. Talk to her. Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. It's a bit late for apologies, isn't it, Harvey? Yeah. I guess it is. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. Keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone's stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad it got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. I have good ones every now and then. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce, just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. Montoya tried to take me down. She can handle this herself. Thought I could count on you. But maybe I was mistaken. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I never heard of them before. And that debate... You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll 
bring him in for questioning. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, yeah. one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? Don't know why I thought I'd get an answer. All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance. But seeing how you used them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Like X-ray peering. And why didn't I already have this? Tech upgrades take time. I do run your actual research and development department as well. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight, so it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Get her! What do you keep looking at? That car's been behind us since the hospital. God, is this guy trying to drive us off the road? Just drive faster. What the? Oh, damn it! I'm headed over to Dent. Your guys are gonna have to handle Montoya. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. any trouble. Yeah, too late, Dent.
That's not an answer. This can get so much worse for you. Hurt me all you want! 
Everyone all right? Yeah, you. Sorry, dumb question. This is the second time you've helped me. Thank you. It's absolute chaos out there. The children of Arkham chose one hell of a night to strike out. Gotham is lucky to have you as mayor. I appreciate your vote of confidence. With you and me working together, we can fix this city. I'll call us a cab. Batman, be safe out there. The mayor's on your side. Heads up, they got three black and whites headed for the handoff. Gordon's with them. Was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on the construction site. Bringing it up now. Stay down! We're coming to you! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. Here, Lieutenant. I did this. Shouting about it isn't going to do him any good. Sure could have used your help ten minutes ago. Nice work. Just strolling to survey the damage. I don't answer to you. Back off. Fine. Tell me what happened. They got away. Took one of our guys with them. Go ahead. Say it. This is my fault. I followed them. I got ambushed. And now one of our own is stuck with those monsters. This isn't over. We'll find the children of Arkham and your missing officer. They won't get away with this. This is Gotham, not some fairy tale. The good guys never win in the end. Oh, what are you... I'm gonna make this right, no matter what it takes. Get our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to command. command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? It's been compromised. Gordon, command! You're coming! I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate, We'll fix this, Alfred. We'll make it right. We just have to stay focused. Yeah, I admire your determination, sir. Just be careful, Bruce. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. 
I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? That's a tough one, but I should have it crack soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the Children of Arkham surveillance are... worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Your father, he... he was wise beyond his years. And Martha, she was such a delight to have around. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to... dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... I know it must seem like the whole world is turning against you. But I'm not. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. I'm on your side, Bruce. I need you to remember that. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. It doesn't matter what the board does. The security's fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Try saying that when you can't access this wing anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? 
So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Just get on with it, Lucius. We don't have time for games. Forgive me for trying to lighten the mood. The back door they're using. I was the one who built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move.
I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures citywide. vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? was a bad president. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. I 
always wonder why he had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. I'm sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. Now before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting.
Mr. Wayne. Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. I won't do it. Bruce. This is my company. My name. And that name is exactly why we're in this situation. This isn't a request, Bruce. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. Well, you should have fought harder. The board would have listened to you. They'd already made up their minds. I did what I could. You have to trust me on that. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old Oi. boy. Good to Oi. see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... This is a joke, right? You're not qualified to run a company. Now, Bruce, is that any way to treat an old friend? I'm just trying to help. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You might want to check your facts, Regina. That resume sounds a little too good to be true. You might want to have more confidence in your own board. His resume checks out, and his references were all glowing. You're quite welcome to call them yourself. That won't be necessary. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Bruce! I need security in here, right now! No! Oh, what was that This is for? a disaster! You've lost your bloody mind! Bruce, stop this! Oh, for heaven's sake, calm down! Get him out of my office! Let's go. I'm so sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. I'll go fetch the medic. That's very kind of you, Regina. Thank you. Bruce! They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. 
Just stay out of it. Don't go near it, and they won't be able to connect it to you. It's not that easy. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. Keep that drive safe. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. I don't know. Having it easy sounds a little boring. Perhaps that's why you never take a vacation. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. are in our system. All of this is potentially accessible. Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity.
Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Mr. Wayne, you can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Ah, uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that! I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. My nerves are totally shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. I could never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been... Looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. Would be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. Like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? But we worked hard to this point. Seems a waste not to bask in the victory, even if it was handed to me. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. Everywhere I go, I am terrified I'll turn a corner and come face to face with the children of Arkham. They are running rampant in the streets. My god, they've gone after me twice now. No one is safe, Bruce. I'm not safe. I can't take them on alone. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think, imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. And he won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. 
I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. The better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. And they won't see it coming. We know what's best for Gotham. What's best for Harvey? Sorry. Sorry, Bruce. I... I did not mean that. I just, uh... I, I guess I lost myself for a moment. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. It won't happen again. I'm fine, Bruce, I promise. See you around, Bruce. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? Unlikely. I stonewalled her at the GCPD after Falcone was shot. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. 
Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Hello? You... you don't have to say anything. I, I've got a pretty good guess. Batman, right? I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. Especially not when you're a reporter. I need some information from you. It's important. <laughs> yeah, figured as much. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. You saw what they did at the debate. They're terrorizing Gotham. That's all there is to it. Yeah, some say they're liberating it. And you believe that? Well, it doesn't matter what I believe. I just report the facts. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. All I did was write it down. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I can't give you specifics. I'm going to need you to be more helpful than that, Miss Vale. <sighs> Save the dramatics for those who deserve it. Bruce Wayne would be a good start. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way, he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> Please, Miss Vale. Think what you want about Bruce Wayne. But I need to find the children of Arkham before they hurt anyone else. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could 
I lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. They should be there. Light, light beer? I'm drinking a light beer? What the be fuck? on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. The officer that was taken from the construction site, shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. I suppose they no longer had need of a hostage. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here, no entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Exactly, are they planning to release? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. 
doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. What the fuck are you talking about being wet? You're my motherfucking mother. This, 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 this is totally getting motherfucking weird. This is totally getting motherfucking weird. What the fuck?
someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this? Street, but how are they planning to release it? Mercy Street, but how are they planning to release it? This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now.
Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. This doesn't add up. This doesn't add up. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. So we know where, but what are they planning? This isn't dangerous enough to be their plan. Oh, 
This doesn't add up. The son of Sam. Nobody's taking my bed. Nobody's being in my bed. Only me and my woman. I just got to get used to your bed being over here. Stop. Are you going to sleep like that? Like, you feel so small. We can yeah, leave very know. close to each other. Sometimes we overlap each other.
always stuff on that. That Angel Juan, uh, Mike, you know, uh, Angel and, and Mike are like, come on, Zoe, don't even worry about it. My sister ain't worth it. And, oh, and then her, her fat, fat sister came to me. And Walker, don't piece her, yo. Don't piece her a year later. This got me going at it. She's hitting Scott. All right, you done? You give your hand to me, and then you say hello, and I can hardly speak, my heart is beating so, and anyone can tell, you think you know me well, you don't know me. No, you don't know the one dreams of you at night, longs to kiss your lips, longs to hold you tight, to you I'm just a friend, and that's all I've ever been, no, you don't know me. For I never knew the art of making love, though my heart makes love for you. Afraid and shy, let my chance go by. That one chance that you might love me too. You give your hand to me, and you say goodbye. I want you walk away beside that lucky guy. You'll never, never know the one that loves you so. No, you don't know me. For I never knew the art of making love of my heart. Here's a love for you. Afraid and shy, I let my chance go by. That one chance that you might love me too. You give your hand to me and you say goodbye. I want you walk away beside that lucky guy. The one loves No, you don't know me. You'll never, never know The one loves you so No, you don't know me.
Right, thank you all so very, very much. Hope you enjoyed that song. And it was too slim. I'm sorry he left out and missed it. And if he lived just a little bit closer, I would have took him a big old purple Slurpee. That's that's uh, Slim's favorite thing. He loves them purple Slurpees. All right, thank you all again so very, very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Mike is back to our awesome, awesome sweet hostess unbelievable Mike you're in three two and one and thank you all again I'm sorry but X DJ please do not jump the mic um, we do have a hostess here, which is myself, so you have to raise your hand and wait in line like the rest of us do. Okay, the next up on the mic would be Superman Rocks. And XDJ, I will take the red dot off of you, or somebody else did. Superman, are you there? Okay, since there's no response. Pete? Okay, it's all yours. Take it away in three, two, and one. Hello, everyone. This